This is unit 6C, it deals with transistors and logic gates. Now over here on the left we have a zoomed in animation of a transistor. Now a transistor is basically a very very tiny on off switch. It's controlled on the left here by the base current and it has a two other electrical contacts. Now it's made of three tiny little sections called N for negative, P for positive and N for negative again. Now these are all made of silicon but they have special additives um, introduced to them that change their electrical properties. So the N's uh, very easily lose one electron and the P section very is very very happy to gain one. We call this a hole so it's, it's very very happy to naturally gain an electron. Now the situation we have now is actually a bit unusual. This is as they're being made. Now the instant they're put together these three sections the electrons that are close will jump into those holes so this is the situation we normally find our transistor in. Now this central section then uh, is a barrier effectively and we can see here if we uh, apply a voltage which is basically trying to push electrons in they are blocked because we have this now negative zone here and we're completely depleted of our, it's called the depletion zone, uh, nothing can get through basically until we apply a positive current here which is another way of saying is we pull these electrons away and the positives in the uh, section here can express themselves and they are strong enough to attract these electrons over this barrier and once it gets going it, you've opened the gates basically you've opened the floodgates and it can flow through which we'll see in a second now because this has to um, stay positive a few will go down the base we don't really want that but it's so small it's not worth bothering with and that gives us uh, this equation here so the emitter is where it's going to come in in a second is going to be the largest current and that's going to equal the base current plus the collector current but as we said the base current is very much the the smallest uh, component we really would prefer it not to be there but it, it always will be a little bit so here we can see the um, this section here becoming negative you saw them flow away there and here as I keep saying we open the floodgates and we get our normal current flowing through here's the uh, symbol now the direction of the arrow here indicates conventional current which we as we know, as we know is the opposite of electron flow and here we have a, a quick example of a transistor there will be several billion of these in your household and a lot of our modern economy uh, requires or depends so here we see two transistors in action here we have them in series and depending on which is closed so we just saw that one closing and now this one closing but if we want our current to flow through we need both closed and that's why this is called an AND gate over here we have an OR gate and as you guessed it A or B can be open for the, the current to flow and again we have our, our sequence uh, running through there they have symbols, the AND gate the OR gate, we don't want to have to draw the uh, transistors every time and the inputs and outputs can be represent, represented by what's called uh, rather grandly a truth table so zero means no flow, sometimes called low or high or, or shut effectively um, or you know, it's uh, nothing going on there and we see the result there so here only when we have A and B do we get our, our result here it's A or B or both and um, we can see here also gives us a, a, a 1A positive 